how to create a Facebook likes ads campaign. In today's video, I'll be showing you a complete tutorial on how you can run a page likes ad so you can get more likes and followers to your Facebook page. Now I understand that not everyone have the budget to run Facebook ads. So if you have a tight budget, I would recommend growing your page organically. I have many other tutorials on my channel showing you exactly how to do this. So just go back onto my channel, click on playlist, and then click on Facebook organic traffic training to watch all of my previous videos. However, there are many pros to running Facebook ads as opposed to the organic method. Number one, you'll get likes much quicker. Number two, Facebook can use their algorithm to target a very specific group of audience in your niche so you know you're getting quality followers. And if you don't already have a Facebook business account, just go back and watch this video over here. I show you exactly how to get started and set everything up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, what's up? My name is Cynthia and I teach everything related to social media marketing. So if you're interested in learning more, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and tap that bell notification so you'll be notified every time I drop a video just like this. So right now let's dive into how you can start running profitable Facebook likes ads campaigns for your Facebook pages. Now this is under the impression that you already have a Facebook business account. If you don't already have one, I actually have a full tutorial showing you exactly how to set this up. You can go back to find it in my other videos or if I remember, I will link it down below in the description box, but let's get started. So the first thing I want to talk about before I dive into the tutorial is images matter when it comes to page like ad. Now in a bit, I'll show you a few examples from Facebook showing you exactly how the ad will look like, but basically you have one big image, maybe a few texts and a button that says like the page. So when people are scrolling through Facebook, it's very important that you find a image that really resonates to the audience that you're trying to target. So we definitely need to figure out which photo works the best. So you definitely wanna go ahead and create multiple ads with different photos to see which one is the best and then you will scale the one that yields the best results. Now you can find these royalty free images on either Pixabay, Pexels, Unsplash. There's so many out there that you can actually choose from. Just type in whatever category you're in and then they'll suggest a few images. So as I mentioned before, images are so important. Therefore, we need to split test these images. So say for example, I'm in the, you know, I'm selling dog related clothing and maybe I want to target people that like dogs. So I have six images up here and I found all of these on Pixabay. And what I wanna do is I wanna create a separate ad for each and every single one of these photos because I wanna figure out which one of these will respond better and yield me the lowest number of costs per like. So it's very important that we keep our numbers low. So the next thing I wanna talk about is the daily budget method. So number one, I recommend running $1 per day per ad. Now I have tested other higher budgets for this, but unfortunately it has not performed well for me. Um, I've tried $5 and $10 and the cost per like is just too high for me. So the sweet spot that I have found that performs the best for me is actually only setting a dollar per day. Now, $1 per day forces Facebook to spend their budget more selectively because imagine you have $5, right? So Facebook's gonna, they have an algorithm in place where they're saying, okay, you're giving me $5 that, that way I can spend it, you know, anywhere that I want. But if you're really narrowing and telling Facebook, hey, you only have a dollar per day, you need to be a little bit more cautious and wise as to where you're showing my ads. And so that's what I found to be yielding the lowest cost per like. Even though you think it's a dollar per day, it does add up, especially if you're trying to scale horizontally and you're having more ads because maybe if you found five images that perform just as good, you might have five different ads running on $1 per day. But Technically, if you have five ads running, it'll be around $5 per day. It really does add up. So you can scale the different ads with the lowest cost per like. This is what I always look for. And we can talk a little bit more about that later. 
But right now I'm going to jump on over to my Facebook ads manager and show you step by step on how to run a profitable Facebook page like ad. So right now I am on my ads manager account. Again, if you don't already have a Facebook business page, I've already created an entire tutorial showing you exactly how to register, how to set everything up. Just go back and watch that video. I'll probably leave it link down below the description if you don't already have this. But what if you already have your Facebook business account set up, just go over to your ads manager account and then go ahead and click the create button. Now, once you click that button, you'll have a few options, but obviously if we're running a page likes ad campaign, you want to go under consideration and then click on engagement. Now, once you click on engagement, they're going to give you several different options. Let me know if you guys want me to do a tutorial on other things like PP ads uh, or event responses. But in this case, since the point of this whole video is creating a page like ad, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on page likes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. First thing we want to do is actually name our campaign. So for the purpose of this, I'm just going to say page like ad, and I'm gonna say it's for dogs. And then make sure that you fill this one out. So if Whatever you are promoting has to do with either one of these categories here, credit, employment, housing, social issues, elections, or politics. You need to make sure that you have selected down here. But in this case, um, because mine's about dogs, it has nothing to do with these. I don't really need to check anything off. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next. So the next thing we want to do is make sure that you select the correct page. So if you're like me and you run multiple different Facebook pages for either your Shopify store or whatever business that you are in, you want to make sure you go ahead and select the correct one. So I'm going to go ahead and select dog lovers apparel uh, club. So I make sure that I have the right page. The next thing we want to do is set the budgeting. Now, as I mentioned before, the budgeting is very, very important when it comes to page likes ad. Um, I haven't found that higher budgets work any better than a dollar budget. So I literally um, set my daily budget to $1 and you can set a start and end date. But for me, I just like to monitor it on a daily basis and I want to, I can cut it any day that I want. So I don't really have to schedule it. Obviously you have that option if you want to. Now the next thing we're going to go over is the audience. So you have different options. If you have a custom audience, you can go ahead and put it in here. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to show you as if you don't already have a custom audience that you're brand new to this. So let's go ahead and create the ad um, using what we have here. So the first thing is location. So um, I like to go and start off with the US. You can start off with the top five countries if you want to, but I'm just gonna start off with US. If you know your age group, you can go ahead and edit here, but I'm just gonna leave it broad. And then gender, since it's dogs, I'm just gonna leave it at all genders and then I can do my detail targeting. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit and I can just type in dogs. Now you wanna go ahead and also split test different targeting as well. But I think it's much more important that you pick a a very known keyword and then split testing the images before you moving on to test different targeting options. Um, and then you can select all languages or for me, I like to type in just English because my ad will be in English. So it only makes sense that I swap out my languages. And then I'm going to come down here and make sure that I put in manual placements. Um, this is very important because it just lets me know, first off, is my ad really working um, before I actually put it elsewhere? So in this case, I'm going to uncheck Facebook Marketplace and I'm just going to leave this on the Facebook News Feed. And then I'm going to go ahead and click Next to continue. Now in our very last step, we want to make sure that we are creating the actual creative for our ad. Right? This will be the visual. This will be where you'll upload your images and you'll put in the text. So as I mentioned before, you definitely want to split test different images. Some images just work better um, in terms of getting more likes to your page. So um, you just have to go under Add Creative and then click on Add Media. And then I'm going to click Add Image. Okay, so I just uploaded one of the images that I got from Pixabay. Again, they'll show you a preview on how this looks like. I want to test out this image. And again, I'm going to add in my text over here. So basically, I want to start off with a question because we want to get people to agree with us off the bat. So I can say, do you 
love dogs. And then I can say, you know, join our community to see more. And then you can just write something short and sweet. It doesn't really have to be a huge paragraph. Again, when Facebook are showing these page like ads, it's not necessarily that they need to have, you know, a bunch of text, right? They're mostly just going to look at the image and then determine whether or not they want to like your page. That is pretty much it. Again, it's really not complicated to create a page likes ad. Um, make sure that you can see the preview and see how it looks like. Now, most of the time how this would actually appear is that Facebook will show the ad, your text that you input will be here, your image will be here, and then there's this little tiny like button that they can go ahead and like. Now, there's some people that might go ahead and click on your Facebook page and then go ahead and check out your content before they like, but some, most of the time, the people that will see your ad will just go ahead and hit this like button. This will automatically have them like your page. And once you are done, you can go ahead and click the publish button. Facebook will go ahead and review your ad. And once they approve of it, they will start spending your budget. And that's it for today's video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I love to know. And let me know what kind of videos you wanna see next on my channel. And don't forget, if you love content just like this, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and tap that bell notification so you'll be notified every time I drop a video just like this. And until next time, I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Live free.